Evolution is the idea that life changes over time. Charles Darwin not only proposed that modern life is the result of the changing of ancestral forms into modern forms, this is actually a very old idea. Charles Darwin proposed natural mechanisms by which this change could occur, such as natural selection, sexual selection, uh, etc., and provided evidence for that. More recent uh, biological studies have uh, incorporated other biological ideas such as genetic drift and other genetic principles as well. If we were to try to explain this process, how could a new species arise from an ancestral uh, species? Charles Darwin's book was uh, titled Origin of Species after all. We could break it into a number of steps. Uh, the first step would simply be this, that species have an enormous ability to reproduce that when we consider the amount of offspring that uh, organisms have, whether this be flowers or bacteria or fish or mammals, that the number far exceeds uh, the required number to replace the parental generation. That there is an enormous number of potential uh, offspring. When we consider, you know, many fish, you know, they can have tens, hundreds of thousands of eggs at a time, a few even are capable of uh, laying millions of eggs at a time. When we consider bacteria, a single bacteria which can reproduce every 10 minutes, if it were to be given enough food and its waste were to be taken away, in 24 hours it could produce a mass of bacteria so enormous that it would weigh as much as planet Earth and in four days there would be more bacteria than there are protons in the universe. Uh, there is simply an enormous ability for life to reproduce itself. 